Welcome one and all to the Acronis Global Cyber Summit Live News Center. We started on Sunday with a 24-hour rotation of training sessions reflecting a redesigned and reinvigorated approach to the Acronis CyberFit Academy. Training sessions continued into Monday morning, and we started the first of the three daily developer hubs for folks curious about possible integration projects on the Acronis Cyber Platform. Our first panel on Monday was Pure Fun, four brilliant professional athletes from teams that are also Acronis CyberFit sports partners, taking, talking a little bit about tech, but mostly their fascinating championship back careers. Tuesday, we got down to business. Renee and Sergey Belosov opened the main stage with keynotes full of deep thoughts about the future of cyber protection. We also got the IT Channel Lounge going, our daily attendee networking event. Our four breakout treks word to life with panels and workshops covering everything from forward-looking and strategic practical advice on how you can start applying those on Monday. The subject matter roved far and wide from edge architectures to the how-tos of Acronis integrations to advanced improving your sales and marketing processes. We reached into our pockets and supported the Acronis Cyber Foundation and took a spin around the virtual floor of virtual technology show, getting virtual demos in virtual booths. Thanks a lot, COVID. We got to look over the shoulders of wildly insightful crystal ball gazers to glimpse the future of the channel and the expanding cybercrime wave, a global landscape of countries with competing security policies and agendas, and the stuff Acronis is building for you to sell next year. We pondered the issues of workplace diversity and inclusion. We visited a bucolic Tuscan winery. We cooked Miami-style ceviche, and we hung out with a couple of awesome retired sports legends. I have to admit, I miss the beautiful blue waters of Miami Beach, the undistanced camaraderie of coffees and dinners and drinks shared, the Acronis Cyber Dragon football match, the chance to shake hands with 100 potential new partners and friends, but we were able to reach out to 10 times as many people this year than were able to afford the travel, the expenses, and the time to come to a physical summit. And we expanded the breadth and quality of our speakers and content. It's an imperfect trade-off, but you and I did what we had to do and have always done and accepted the unexpected challenges and adapt with the help of our wits and technology and somehow turned a lump of fertilizer into a nugget of gold. With any luck next year, we'll be able to meet again with classroom tables, cocktail tables, dinner tables, and regain that ineffable connection that only comes with face-to-face -face contact. But given the amount of value we were able to generate despite the pandemic, I will also expect we will continue to reach out to this wider community with a simultaneous virtual event. In some ways, at least, bigger, albeit distanced, is better.